Hey guys, how's it going? Marsbucks here, and welcome back to the Top 50 Player Ratings Countdown for, of course, FIFA 15. We're up to place 30 to 21. Not long left to go now, place 30 to 21. A new batch has been released only moments ago, so let's get this underway, and here we go. And kicking us off, number 30, the player is going to be Neymar. Of course, he had a stunning World Cup for Brazil. He was 84 rated as a striker back in FIFA 14, and now, in FIFA 15, he has had a huge lift to his overall, an 86, and there's a positional change in there too, a left winger as well. Now, his actual stats haven't changed around too much, uh, but still, a bump up to about an 86 is quite impressive, uh, considering that, you know, you really haven't had any of your stats upgraded whatsoever. But still, I think that's just, you know, that's just how it is. I did also make the prediction that Neymar, yes, he would be getting an upgrade. I thought I'd keep a level head and say he'd get at least an 85, because, you know, he didn't have the best of seasons for Barcelona. He didn't have a bad season. He had an okay season for Barcelona and a pretty decent World Cup, but... The thing is, I was not expecting an 86. I did say he'd get an upgrade, so I don't know where we are now, but let's just say at least for this episode, I'm, I've got one on one correct. Let's go. I just had a look back, lads, and I just thought I'd let you know that I'm currently six of nine of all the plays that have come up that I predicted. I just had that look, but there you go. Anyway, now let's move on to play number 29. This is Matt Hummels, and he was 85 rated as a center back toward the uh, end of FIFA 14, and after a very good World Cup, and I don't really know how well he went for Dortmund. He has gotten up his, himself an upgrade to an 86 center back, and uh, yeah, a little bit of a stat, up, uh, stat upgrades everywhere here and there. He doesn't really have that big an upgrade, but still, he does get to an 86. And no, I did not put a prediction down for him, so we are still six correct out of nine predictions. Now for another German, and this is going to be Mesut Ozil, the 87 rated center attacking midfielder. And he did not have that great a season toward the end of the season, especially for Arsenal. He was okay at the start. I don't know about his World Cup too. I think it was okay. I know the fact that they won's pretty big, but I don't think he had too much of an influence in his actual playing but still either way he doesn't really I didn't really thought I didn't really think that he'd keep his 87 rating and neither did EA he's got an 86 now in FIFA 15 and yes I did predict that he would get a downgrade to an 86 so boom absolutely correct there two 86s and yes I believe that's me seven of ten at the moment and that's fantastic because there's going to be a few BPL players in here that uh, you know they're going to go up and down and plays that I predicted would be certain overalls and got a lot of backlash for and I'm about to go in. It's going to be fantastic. Now for another German, this is pretty crazy. It's going to be uh, Thomas Müller, who of course had a stunning World Cup. It was relatively decent for Bayern. Of course, they won fucking pretty much everything apart from Champions League, of course, last season. So he was really good as well. And he was an 85 rated right midfielder. He will be an 86 rated still right midfielder despite playing for a striker or in that sort of position, more central for Germany in the World Cup a little bit more, but still, he will still be an 86 rated right midfielder. And I did predict, boom, he as well would be an 86 right midfielder in FIFA 15. So I'm on fire in these last two. That's not bad. We're about uh, eight of 11 now. This is getting good. I'm bumping up the percentages here, but still, uh, yes, an 86 rated right midfielder for Thomas Müller. Now for another German, this is player number 26, another winger. It's Marco Royce, 85 rated left midfielder toward the end of FIFA 14. And of course, he was stunning for Dortmund and he's really, you know, Dortmund's only good star player anymore, really. Now that fucking uh, Gertz is gone, Lewandowski's gone, who else have they got apart from this man? And he is good. Now, of course, apparently according to EA, the 26th best player in the world, but still, he's going to be an 86 rated left midfielder. I thought that he would be a little bit higher than that. I'd get, I gave him an 87 and I still stand by about an 87 rating for Marco Royce because this guy is unbelievable. He is stunning. But still, he is not going to be an 86 rated. So either way, I did predict that he would be uh, upgraded. But again, that is quite a no-brainer. And now for another gem. Oh, no way. He's Argentinian. It's Angel Di Maria, play number 25. And he, of course, recently signed for uh, Manchester United. He was an 86 rated right midfielder in FIFA 14. And in FIFA 15, he's going to be an 86 rated center attacking midfielder. And I did predict that he would go a little bit more central, considering that's where he was playing the bulk of his football toward the end of the year. Uh, or toward the end of last season, and so that's what he's going to be. I also predicted that he would get an upgrade, but I said he would go to an 87, but still, uh, I'm overshot his, I overshot it a little bit. He didn't actually get an upgrade. He stayed at 86, which is fair enough, um, but still, there you go. I predicted that he'd go central, which is pretty good, and now I'm 9 of 13. Mate, I'm on fire. I've not got one wrong this episode, despite bombing out in the previous one. Now for a rating which might shock a few of you. This is Sergio Aguero, 88 rated toward the uh, end of FIFA 14. And in FIFA 15, he's been downgraded to an 86 silver striker. Wow. 88 pace, 88 dribbling, 86 shooting. Wow, he's actually gone up in shooting, up in passing as well. He's gone down, and the only thing he's gone down in is dribbling, but he somehow got a two overall downgrade. That's crazy. 
I, you know, I wouldn't have thought that he would have gotten a downgrade. I know 88 is a very high rating and a very high standard to uh, keep up to, but still, even an 86 has surprised me and surprised a lot of other people as well, but still, there you go, 86 rated. And no, I did not put a prediction there for Aguero because I personally thought he'd be fine, but there you go. And now, guys, I cannot tell you how happy I am to read you out this player's rating. It's Wayne Rooney, player number 23. And if you have seen my downgraded Premier League FIFA 15 ratings video, you will not, you have no idea how happy I'm about to be. He was an 87 rated central for, center forward in FIFA 14. And in FIFA 15, he's going to be an 86 rated striker. No, he did not stay at an 87. He's gone down. I predicted he'd go down. And I copped so much backlash. You will have no fucking idea. I'm going to show a couple of the comments on screen right now. So many fucking idiots saying, nah, he won't go down. What are you, an idiot? You're a moron. You don't know anything about football. But boom, he's an 86 rated striker. I said he would be an 86 center forward, but still, uh, I am still a little bit surprised that he is a striker, but still, an 86 rating. I called it. I said he'd go down. I matched his overall. Guys, anyone that gave me shit about Rooney being going down in rating and giving me crap for it, you can all suck a fat one. Seriously, fuck yes. I'm so happy about that. Thank you, EA. Who knows nothing about football now? Suck it. <laughs> anyway, this shit's getting personal. Anyway, let's move on. Player number 22, the second last player in this episode, it's going to be Yaya Torre. And of course, this guy is coming off, was coming off last season of one of his best ever seasons and one of an, abs an absolutely crazy, a crazy season for especially a midfielder, a central, more defensive midfielder who's now pushed forward a little bit, uh, considering the amount of goals he scored and just how much of a beast and a tank he was. Didn't have that great a World Cup, hasn't had that good a start to the season, and even though he was an 86-rated centre defensive midfielder uh, in FIFA 14, he's going to stay at an 86-rated centre mid, not a defensive mid anymore, in FIFA 15. And at the time when I made this prediction video, he was just on fire. He was the guy that everyone was talking about. And I said that he'd be an 88-rated player, still a centre defensive midfielder, but still. And look at those stats as well. Everything 80. That's like rude Hullet stats. But anyway, moving on. Uh, he's not going to be an 88. He'll still stay at an 86. And that's still a ridiculously good card when you look at it. 76 pace, 79 dribbling, 82 shooting, 80 defensive, uh, 80 defense, 81 passing, 90 physicality. That's crazy. And the final play today, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be Xavi. Now, of course, uh, there was a little bit of talk that he wasn't going to be at Barcelona this year, but still, it looks like, of course, he will be. And he was an 89 rated centre midfielder for Barcelona last year. And in the span of only one in the span of only one season, has gone from being an 89 to an 86 rated centimeter. I know he's aging. I know he hasn't been tremendous, but wow, a three overall downgrade like that. That's pretty quick, but still, uh, you can't really argue with it too much. You can't really say that he's one of the you know, like the sort of midfielder that he that he previously was, but either way, uh, he's still relatively decent at an 86, and he will be the final player of this episode. And no, I did not put a prediction down for him because, to be honest, I didn't think he'd still be at Barcelona. I thought he would have gone, but no, he's there for at least one more season. But that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. There's only two more left to go. Plays 20 to 11 will be coming out tomorrow, and then after that, guys, we're in the home stretch. The final top 10 plays in FIFA 15. I can't wait. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't, so that way you keep ready or you get ready for it. And guys, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.